Hello, my name is Clam Noodle Soup. I am an admitted MD student. Medical school starts in like T minus four weeks and I'm very, very stoked about it. But today we are doing a medical school apartment tour, but this time I have furniture. For the most part, my apartment is done. There are some things like shelves and artwork and family pictures that I still definitely want to put up, but I would consider this apartment fully furnished, just not fully decorated. Let's get into it. This is the kitchen entrance to my home. I usually don't use this one. I use the other one, but I will show you that in a second. So I have one chaotic corner in my house, okay? I think everyone has a chaotic drawer or a chaotic shelf. This is my chaotic corner. It is just a hodgepodge of a can of paint that I don't even know. <sighs> I haven't used it. A roll of over a thousand ice bags. Some acetone. It's just, it's chaotic over here, but... It's fine because it's out of the way and it's for the most part out of sight. And over here we have the kitchen. So I'm standing in the chaotic corner and this is what you first see when you walk into my apartment. This is the kitchen table. I actually don't have kitchen table chairs just yet. I'm gonna try and see if I can find any at a thrift store or maybe an estate sale because I'm just trying to maximize on cost efficiency as much as possible. <laughs> Refrigerator, there's nothing too exciting about that. Oven, these are kitchen towels from Target. You'll see throughout the apartment, I have hints of yellow because yellow is my favorite color. And fun fact, they say those whose favorite color is yellow are oftentimes happier people compared to average. So fun fact. Pot of rice because I just made lunch and cabinets up here i definitely need to figure out a better way to organize because um i just feel like this could be this could be a little bit better it's not terrible everything is accessible but it, it could be a little bit better this is not that bad there's just some wine glasses plates bowls <laughs> um a mug that my friend got me that says my last name loading dr belgrave my best friend is the most thoughtful person i've ever met in my entire life i love her so much and then most of my glasses like these glasses these glasses these wine glasses those are crystal glass wine glasses these are gorgeous oh my god i love them so much they're all from the thrift store so you know do not knock the thrift store those are from the thrift store as well those bigger wine glasses do not knock the thrift store you might be wondering why I have an empty carton of eggs. Well, because I'm going to try and grow some seeds and you start seeds in little containers that you can buy or you can just repurpose uh, like a little seed starter container like an egg carton. Probably a better way that I could keep my fruit and my produce, but for right now, this works just fine. Trash can and a Whole Foods bag. The trash can is from Target and I have some cleaning supplies. The cleaning supplies are actually from Amazon. And then we have my desk at the, I guess, far left edge of the kitchen. And this is where I will be learning all of uh, the material I need to know on how to become a physician. So this is the new iMac 24 inch for apple products i actually think it wasn't too bad of a purchase and um i've had this desk for forever it's from world market this chair is from amazon uh, i don't mind that chair i feel like i could get a better one maybe that's a little bit more comfortable but for right now this chair will do that is a nice little overview of my kitchen now let's go on to the bathroom walking into the bathroom here it is a very tiny bathroom, but that is okay because I love it so much. Here we have a scale and then I have this shelving system. I love this shelving system so much. It really allows me to have just so much more storage space and that really helps. Not that I have a bunch of crap I need to be storing places, but it just helps because before this shelving unit was there, I was just very disorganized and it was a little bit stressful. Little trash can is also from Target. I just have some of my uh, everyday skincare products. This is deodorant. I guess that counts as skincare. It's like body care, skincare. Everyday skincare products. Um, and then in here, I have some bathroom items like teeth whitening strips, extra deodorant, and curly hair stuff. 
lotion, and sunscreen. This shower curtain, I love how it's terrazzo themed. It's just black and gray and white, and I got it from Target. And then I also got this bath mat from Target as well. It is black <laughs> and it's very fluffy. And there you can see my little foot. There's not too much going on here in the shower. I love the shower head. It's a really nice experience and it's actually a little bit mirrored. So whenever I'm doing my skincare, I can like see myself and see if I've rinsed off all of the soap on my face. This wire rack container organization system is from Target and I really like it because it just makes storing and organizing my shower items that much easier. Didn't mention this earlier, the shelving unit is from Amazon. So Amazon is uh, really great for this type of stuff. Now we move on to the living room. Let me move that big ugly box out of the way. That is so much better. All right, let's step into the living room. Right off the bat, I wanna start off by saying, now you can really see the themes of pops of yellow um, for like my accent color in my apartment. This carpet is so freaking just interesting. It reminds me of Greek mythology in a way. I forgot where I bought it, but if anybody really wants to know where I got this carpet, leave a comment down below and I will try and look at my bank statements to figure out where I purchased it at. This sofa is about five years old, a little over five years old. It is from Ikea. Um, so it's pretty good quality for the price that you are getting. I don't think they offer it anymore, but I've had it for a long time and it's still uh, really sturdy and solid and I, I really like it actually. Same thing for this little table. I've had it for over five years and I have some cute little plants. Let's see if this can focus. I have some cute little plants and candles. Uh, these candles are from Target. And then underneath on this table, I just have some miscellaneous items. I have a yoga book because I love yoga and I just want to learn and read as much as I possibly can. I have this water from earlier, like 20 minutes ago, I was eating my lunch and drinking this water. This is my favorite brand of sparkling water and this is my favorite flavor, lemon lime. I love it so much. It's like Sprite, just not as sweet because it's just sparkling water. Hello, here I am. I got this TV from Best Buy. It is this brand, Insignia. They were trying to sell me a Sony TV and it was like hundreds and hundreds of more dollars. Uh, more expensive than this one from the, for the same size. So I'm like, no, show me the cheapest TV that you have here. So I got this one and I love it so much. And this shelving system I love because it's interesting. It looks like little lockers. And on the inside, a little bit disorganized. Again, my apartment is fully furnished, but it's not organized and made into like, you know, you see those people who have their life together completely and their organization systems are just completely on point. That's not me just yet. And that might not, not ever be me, but that's okay. Just, oh boy, just a hodgepodge of stuff like paint supplies and makeup and LED lights. Okay, let's close the door back. Shoe organization system. I did get this from Target. It's the perfect size, it's not too big, but it does store um, a really solid amount of shoes. And I have more shoes than this, but there are storage underneath my bed, so I keep a lot of my shoes in there. So the ones that I wear more frequently, I keep out here. I do not remember where I got this shelving unit from, but there it's a pretty common shelf type. So you could probably find something like this at Walmart or Target or even at Ikea camera equipment up there some books and then my favorite shelf this is a little bit of an homage to my father um, I lost him when I was seven years old he was a super duper Dragon Ball Z fan and just anime in general and actually now I really love anime as well so this is a character called Piccolo Cell trunks and then I have a little Dragon Ball Z candle that was supposed to be a gift for my friend but I never gave it to him so I'm sorry Garrett these action figures once belonged to him, now they belong to me, and they're a really nice way to remember him, and um, I like how they add to my apartment. <laughs> 
right next to the action figures i have this really cool piece of hand-blown italian glass i found this and I, I keep chapstick in it i found this at an estate sale and truly i was prepared for the lady to say oh yeah this is gonna be 80 dollars and i was gonna have to negotiate but she said it was 25 and i was like okay I've got you. <laughs> right before you walk into my bedroom, I have this really beautiful, stunning, gorgeous, spectacular plant. And this plant is a, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that, but there you have it. If you're in love with this plant and wanna try and find it at your local nursery, I just love green. I love what plants do to a space. They really make it feel more human and I, I just like it a lot. So walking into my bedroom, very minimal. Again, my place is fully furnished. It's just not fully decorated just yet. I love this bed. I love it so much. I think it's whimsical. I w really wanted to go with white bedding because I thought it was mature and very nice. And just, I'm just in love with this bed. <laughs> This is a natural jute rug. The bed frame, you can't really see it, but I did get it from Wayfair and it does have shelving system system underneath. And the bedding I got from a bunch of different places, so I actually can't remember off the top of my head. Right next to my bed, I have this beautiful, beautiful pothos, and it's a specific type of pothos, Marble Queen. Um, I really love pothos. I find them absolutely gorgeous and they're not too finicky to take care of. Simple laundry container and a shelving system from Ikea as well. I have another basket which doesn't really have too much in it. It's just some vitamins. My retainer is back there. Oh boy. Um, and then I do have another plant that is just the most delicious shade of green. It really matches the um, this velvet gorgeous duvet that I have here. And this is a philodendron. And I'm pretty certain it's a variation of pothos, which again, I just find that they're pretty easy to take care of, not too finicky. And that is perfect for me because I am not a natural plant caretaker. I wanna be one and I'm trying, but I have killed a little bit more. I've, I've killed some plants in my day top shelving unit i do have just one measly little towel and then in all three of the rest of them i have shoes open up the closet it's a little weird because i don't have a rack um this apartment is a little bit old and every time i put clothes on the rack it would fall so i just bit the bullet and decided to get my own clothes rack and hang my clothes that way and then i do have a shelving system unit and i have these little baskets it's definitely less than ideal but it does work for me and i am not complaining especially when you can close the door and you don't know that it's a little bit disorganized in there hey i actually bought this really beautiful um natural fiber wall decal but i don't have a nail and i i honestly don't know if a nail is gonna be strong enough to hold it up on the wall so i'm gonna figure out trying to figure out how to make that work but i would like to hang this on that wall i'm also thinking about getting some decor for above the bed that is this type of material like this natural jute rug but maybe it is like circle maybe like two circles that are different sizes i don't know quite yet but i definitely want something pretty to look at above my bed because i think it'll just make this whole room tied together a little bit better dun dun dun, dun. my yoga room that was a little bit anticlimactic. It looks cooler if I stand on this chair and give you an overview of everything. So this is my yoga room. Starting right next to the door, I have this absolutely beautiful salt lamp. This lamp, I'll put my foot next to it so that you can tell how big it is. I'm a woman's size seven and a half. This piece of salt, this like huge, salt rock weighs just under 45 pounds and it fills the room with a beautiful orange glow when i'm doing yoga and this is a heater so the yoga that i do is hot yoga and i just turn this heater on and i put it a little bit close to my yoga mat and the room heats up that way and i get very sweaty which is very good you guys already saw in the other video but i do have this rubber flooring which just makes um the room a little bit more inviting to kind of <laughs> 
do handstands and roll around and not feel like I'm gonna hurt myself. So I have this rubber flooring all throughout the yoga room. And it's just, it it's, I, I really like it. it. It was really worth the purchase. This is a life form yoga mat. I do not like this yoga mat. I would not purchase it again. I don't think it's grippy enough for me personally. Um, I really think I'm going to get a jade yoga mat for my next yoga mat and I just wanted to throw that out there because I know this brand is very popular but I would not suggest. These are Samir's. I got this one for Christmas one time. I, thought, I found this one in the thrift store and I think it was like $20 for this huge ass mirror so that's pretty cool that I got it for a great deal. These are just some lovely yoga wheels that you can stretch your back on and I got them off of Amazon. And then we have this shelving system. This lamp is a gorgeous selenite lamp. So selenite is the crystal that we use for um, clarity of mind, vibrance, and vitality. And um, I don't know, you guys, sometimes I'm a little bit hesitant to talk about spirituality because of you know going into medical school and being a person of science, so on and so forth. But I do believe spirituality has a place. Um, so bear with me if I speak in a way that is a little bit foreign to you. And maybe if I speak in a way that is a little bit foreign to you, you can find a way to still appreciate it and accept it even if you personally disagree with it. Moving on. This is an incense coffin. It's actually turned backwards, so let me turn it forwards. You put incense in there, light it on fire, and then it fills the room with a beautiful, fragrant smoke. Mala beads, so these are prayer beads. My yoga teacher Maureen got these for me, and I'm super thankful for her. Shout out to Maureen, I love you. Some crystals, lapis lazuli, if you play Minecraft. If you play Minecraft, you know what this is. More selenite, and this is a green stone that is just covered in sparkles, and it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous next level of the shelf i have a foam roller a foam yoga block and all of my smell good stuff so i have some beautiful plant hydrosols from whole foods these are just flower waters essentially and then i have some more room sprays these are with essential oils lavender eucalyptus is the green one pure essential oils, so sweet orange and lavender. I have some Zoom mist back here. I've been loving the lavender and mint fragrance. Um, if you like lavender, you probably are going to love this. I highly recommend um, it might take your yoga practice to the next level. Or you could use it as a bed spray or just body fragrance, but if you do yoga, you probably have seen this brand at least once or twice. I also have some Tiger Balm because sometimes my body gets sore and this is way better than Biofreeze. These last two shelves, I have some miscellaneous baskets. Honestly, I don't really know what's in there. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of a mystery bin of sorts. So at least the mystery is contained in these really pretty natural fiber baskets. Don't have too much in this closet. It Painting supplies, I don't know why I have that. Um, some bags for my yoga mat, a bucket. This is a container filled with wash rags and cleaning rags, some extra yoga mat towels, a blanket, and then this IKEA organization system has a bunch of my yoga clothes in there, like my yoga shirts. <laughs> And right next to the closet, I do have my meditation chair. So this is a really good chair to, it's like a really nice chair to sit cross-legged on. And then I will meditate right next to it. I have a diffuser. I do not remember where I got this diffuser. I got it over five years ago and it still works. Um, so it's really nice to just sit right here and meditate and have beautiful fragrance of whatever I choose going right next to me. If I get up on my chair, I can give you a really nice overview of my yoga room. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy, you guys, because doing yoga in class is very expensive, especially here in Miami. A class will cost you like $25 and i don't have money like that and on top of that getting a monthly membership is like 
<sighs> low end 200 bucks a month so it's just very expensive to do yoga here but now I don't have to worry because I have my own cool little studio. All right, so we are back in my living room and that is my entire apartment tour. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any types of questions about where I got something, I will try to do my best. I know I didn't pick out each and every single item I have in here and say where it's from because this video literally would have been hours long. But if you see something and you wanna know where it's from, let me know, shoot me a DM or leave a comment down below and I will try my best to remember where I got it. That is gonna be the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.